Hey guys, this is a, another review. This is my uh, Bulgarian Circle Circle 10 Makarov pistol that I just recently picked up. Picked up from the FFL on, let's see, Wednesday. Uh, this is a classic firearms model, or the, I'm sorry, the ones that they were selling, I shouldn't say model. But um, give you guys a little review on it, pros and cons, tell you what I did do and tell you what I didn't do. So, uh, just to start off, uh, firearm has already been safety checked. I don't know if you can really see it, but the slide is back, magazine is out, and there is nothing in that chamber except just probably a little bit of cosmoline residue. So, um, about this gun. Well, a buddy of mine had just recently picked up the same firearm when we went down to our rod and gun club to pick his up, and I instantly fell in love with it, and uh, I had to get my own. Now, he did pay the hand select fee. Um, I did not. Um, it's been my run of luck lately, paying the hand select fee. I really, uh, I really don't get a hand select. So I just decided to uh, run my luck and see what the luck of the draw was. Now I'll tell you, I have a really hard time believing that they could do a hand select anyhow, just because of the condition they come in. When I first got this guy, in some of the reviews on Classic, you'll see that these things are literally in a bag full of Cosmoline. And I'm talking, it is just, someone just put it in a grease press and just filled this sucker up. I, I had to let this thing soak in about two hours worth of mineral spirits just to get the Cosmoline to, to ooze off. So, um, now, a couple of things here. Now, this thing is in very, very, very good shape. Uh, you can kind of see the reflection of the blue. Very nice. You can still see some cos cosmoline, even though I did sit, soak in the mineral spirits. It is still oozing out from uh, some orifices here. Uh, the, only, the only thing, the only place where I could see where um, there's some, some marks on it, you got some minor holster wear. I mean, it's minor. I mean, the, the camera's not even showing how minor it is. You can see some kind of streaking, but that's just the blue. And then, if you look right here, where PW, PW Arms put their uh, import mark, I think it was their machine that they clamped it in, because you can see some machining marks here. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but I think that's all that's at, that's from. Um, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident to say that those marks are from when PW Arms stamped it, imported. Uh, the bluing on the grip, I don't know if you guys can see, but the, uh, the bluing is perfect on the grip. Now my buddy who did pick hand select, he got his, and uh, right here around this grip area, it almost looked like from where the fingers were wrapping around, the oils had uh, worked away some of the blue, wore away some of the blue. Mine doesn't have that. The grips are in excellent shape, nice uh, nice bake light, nice brown. Very beautiful firearm. Um, the pros, uh, I would just, if I were you guys, save your extra 20 bucks, put that towards some ammo, and just get a standard grade. Because I truly have a hard time believing that they could honestly do a hand select with as much Cosmoline and crud that is caked on this thing to actually to see the finish you'd have to clean the firearm off to get a good representation as to what you're actually looking at now I was telling you my buddy who got his his head bluing wear around the actual grip here mine doesn't mine has a really really nice blue on this slide he had some you know some more holster wear marks than I did and he paid the 20 bucks for that hand slick um, now I'm not saying every every gun you might get is going to be that way, but I think it's worth taking a shot on, especially with this type of weapon, uh, and the, and then just the way they're they're marketing them, being so covered, you know, literally covering cosmically. And the other thing I don't have in front of us is the uh, nice little holster. It came with a very nice holster, uh, nice black Bulgarian holster. Even came with a lanyard because we do have a lanyard loop here. Very beautiful gun. Um, and also I should mention that it's also not here. I probably should have had that apologize is I do have a nice little manual a nice booklet of the history of this particular firearm with serials matching um, again this is an excellent little piece that I'm glad I added to my collection I'm really really happy that my buddy who bought his um, I went down there with him like I was saying I'm really glad I went with him that day because I feel like uh, I feel like I would have missed out if I didn't now I think uh, I paid maybe 300 and uh, let's see 
I want to say it was maybe 340 shipped here to uh, Nevada. And I just went to my local rod and gun club. And uh, overall, guys, I'd, I'd say this thing is a, a def definitely a solid buy. And considering that these surplus weapons are drying up, I'd get them while you can. Um, because by the time I retire and you see all these guys on YouTube and they got this really nice substantial firearms collection, the younger generation like my crowd, um, they're probably going to be all dried up in all honesty. Um, I'm a surplus weapon. Uh, I love them. I'm a surplus weapon saint. <laughs> uh, just the quality of this particular firearm. Uh, and then uh, classic firearms they are great uh, no problems at all with the order they shipped it very fast uh, priority mail uh, I would have had it sooner but the rod and gun club has some odd hours so um, kudos to classic thank you very much thanks to the guy who ever picked this up put it in my box for me you guys did great once again I will be uh, I will be purchasing yet again another firearm I also the same day picked up a, a Polish Radom P64 for my wife because she really liked the looks of it. it. Reminded her of my Walther. So uh, I'll probably be doing a video review on that shortly. And then also the same day, I just went crazy on Columbus Day. Uh, I got a M39 Seiko to match my uh, M39 VKT. And now uh, that 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 actually was very nice. It was not a hand select, unfortunately. It was uh, just a standard grade because. By the time I was able to log in, and I swear, two and a half minutes in, uh, they were all sold out of Seiko hand selects. But I ended up with a really, really, really nice standard grade that uh, cleaned up amazingly. And I will be doing a separate review on that once the stock is finished drying because I, I used the cleaning method. Um, that didn't harm the finish, it just drew all the Cosmoline out. And I will have uh, pictures of that and a video of that at a later date. But uh, overall, Guys, if you're thinking about getting this firearm from Classic, do it. Um, the reason why I keep shopping with them is because of the customer service experience I had uh, recently. And they, they just, they are willing to help you out no matter what. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, these are firearms. They are tools. Be safe. And uh, make sure you know how you're handling them. And, uh... Please like it. Please like the video if you thought this was useful. If not, that's cool too. I'll take some constructive criticism. Just uh, remember we're all adults. At least I hope we think we are. Uh, leave positive or constructive reviews. Thanks again, guys.